Sicilian cauliflower steaks is the subject of today's video. My name is Jodie Bunting and welcome to today's Food for Thought where this week we're cooking with a company called Simply Cook which basically you choose what you want to cook. They send you the spices for free and you cook with your ingredients. Now this is Sicilian colli steak. It's officially a plant-based uh, item. However, I just, you know, I'm really enjoying vegetables at the moment. I don't know what's wrong with me, uh, but I am loving life at the moment in my uh, my vegetable base. Now, the good thing about cooking with these, uh, I know a lot of you out there have tried uh, uh, fresh uh, and things like that, uh, but the interesting thing here, because you're not you're not being sent the ingredients. You can obviously make it to your uh, liking. Welcome, Donna. Uh, welcome, Tina, to the live video. So I know what you, what you want to see. What does this look like when it's made? This, ladies and gentlemen. So I've just been cooking it downstairs. Now, this has got mashed potato on it. Now, I didn't make it with mash. I actually made a little uh, ratatouille moussaka sort of thing. So I'm trying to show you, but without throwing it all <laughs> over the floor. Um, as I've explained before to you, it's really hard um, to cut cauliflower into a steak. It said three centimetres thick. Uh, I didn't quite make three centimetres, uh, but it is uh, nice. So you can see, um, I would probably prefer it a little cooking a little bit more. It said only 20 minutes to oven the cauliflower. Probably myself, I would have had it a little bit more. And then the first time ever, guys, I actually um, fried the lettuce. So what you're meant to do is just char the lettuce slightly. Uh, high class cooking. So that's shard lettuce. And then what you should do, those um, spring onions, you're meant to put that into the mash and obviously then you get a nice oniony mash. But as I said, because I didn't make the mash, um, I just put the onions on the top and then there's a drizzle as well on the top. So there is a nice drizzle there, which is on the on the lettuce and also on the cauliflower. And then in my little moussaka ratatouille, it's just onions, peppers, chilies, aubergine, with some tomatoes and um, passata. So that was my little extra instead of instead of um, potato. So let's try this. So first of all, the cauliflower steak, because I'm holding my plate with one hand, uh, I can't really cut it, but I'll try to, but you can see the dressing on this is a lemon and herb. So obviously if you weren't uh, plant-based, you could just put that on chicken or whatever you wanted. So just look at all those lovely herbs on there. You can see the olive oil glistening away. I'll add a few of those um, onions. So that is the cauliflower steak. That is so nice. And obviously our accompaniment is the uh, Shaw grilled lettuce leaves. So let's give that a try. Have you eaten cooked lettuce before? Mm. With that dressing, that's really, really nice. And I think the point that I want to make here is the fact that obviously if your friends are having a steak, maybe they're having chips, something like this. This way you're still having your steak, you're still having your accompaniments, but obviously these are much lower in calories. So this is why I love these sorts of ideas, because it does kind of show you how if you are feeding the family, or you just want to have a normal meal, you know, you can actually feel like you're having that, but obviously you're having lots of vegetables and feeling the health benefits instead of load of stodge full of calories and full of fat. Uh, I will try for you my ratatouille. Now there is real peppers in here, so I added loads of really big peppery bits. So what I want to uh, say here is make sure they're not really hot peppers. These are medium peppers, so it won't taste too hot.
thankfully it's not too hot. That's nice guys. That's really nice. As I said, Tesco this week, aubergines are on <laughs> 59p they are, so I'm making everything with aubergines. Alright, Christina, watch it on catch up. Because we're done now. Thank you for joining us, guys. As always, uh, we'll be back tomorrow morning, 8 o'clock, for the Saturday squat workout. And we'll be back tomorrow. What am I making tomorrow? I think I've got Goan cauliflower tomorrow. So I'll see you tomorrow, guys. Enjoy your Friday night. Bye for now.